what is the biggest mistake that people make when it comes to practicing effective self-care? And no, the answer isn't that they don't practice enough self-care, but rather that people tend to practice the wrong kind of self-care. So let's imagine for a moment that you have the weekend set aside and you tell yourself, I am going to practice some really great self-care. So I'm going to watch the entire season of The Witcher. I'm going to order two entire pizzas just for me, and then I'm going to soak in a bubble bath. And that is my version of self-care. And while all of that might feel really good, it might not necessarily be the care that you need. See, there's a difference between what we call self-nourishing behavior and self-soothing behavior. And great self-care really comes down to having both of those things. But when people think about self-care, their mind usually goes more towards the soothing behaviors, the things that make us feel really nice, make us feel really good. But those things don't necessarily give us what we need all the time. You know, it might make you feel great to eat those two pizzas all by yourself, but does your body maybe need something else? Do you need something more diverse in your diet? Would it make you feel better in the long term to uh, have some vegetables? Would it make you feel better to go for a walk? Things that maybe don't feel soothing in the moment may actually be really healthy and helpful in the long road moving forward. So as you're trying to figure out how can I design the most effective self-care plan for myself, try to come up with activities that aren't just good feeling, but are good for you. And of course, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic right now, and it's hard to feel safe about going outside and doing many of the things that would typically be pretty healthy for us. So you'll have to get a little bit creative with this. But there are ways that you can be active, that you can connect with people, that you can really try and work on yourself that doesn't require going out and risking your health. So what if instead, for your great self-care weekend, you set aside a plan where at the end of it, you're not just going to feel better, uh, but you're going to feel healthier, that you're going to feel more prepared to go into your week uh, feeling restored and rejuvenated. What might that look like? How can you take better care of yourself today?